Howdy folks, Steampunk Tesserado here. Due to time pressure, I'm going to change my schedule a bit. Some of these videos are going to be short. And therefore, I'll be able to have more time writing and editing like I need to be doing. I'm going to give a brief review today about two anime series that Mrs. Desperado and I recently finished watching. They are The Witch and the Beast and Metallic Rouge. These are both kind of Sinan type uh, adventure series aimed at young people and they are fun and they are adventurous and so on and a little bit dark as far as violence first one which in the beast is based on a manga by kusuke satake uh, which ran from 2016 to 2021 the stars are ashaf and guido ashaf is a tall kind of silent man who's a mage He's always smoking cigarettes, <laughs> which, is, which is kind of funny and jarring. Nobody seems to object. He carries a coffin on his back. Why, you may ask. We will soon find out. His companion is Guido, a slender, blonde woman who is very hostile and angry. She's angry because she's been cursed by a witch. Now, the funny thing is that they have the same goal, but different. Ashaf is part of the Order of Magical Resonance. As a mage, he's supposed to hunt down rogue witches who are causing trouble. Well, as Guido wants to find the witch who cursed her and kill her. And they're encountering all these witches, but it's never the right one for poor Guido. But the fun thing is that in that coffin is basically Guido's alter ego, which is like this demon form who can really do battle. The sad thing about this it's although there's a lot of interesting ideas like necromancy and, and raising people from the dead and what cost there is to that, their souls. <laughs> but because, but nonetheless, there isn't enough action, actually. There is a lot of cases where they're just looking for people or investigating. And the cases when Guido's alter ego springs out of the coffin and, and battles the bad guys aren't enough, unfortunately. Still, it was interesting. You might check it out. Second is Metallic Rouge is a cyberpunk, which was supposed to, I believe, celebrate the 25th anniversary of Studio Bones, a very famous animation studio, not based in the manga, believe it or not. It stars uh, two women who are traveling around, and this is in the far future. Uh, one is a clone similar to a replicant from Blade Runner. In this world, they are called Neons. And she is Rouge Red Star. And her companion is her human handler, Naomi Orthman, who works for the Ministry of Truth, which is also called Aletheia. And they are trying to find and eliminate rogue Neons. <laughs> Same theme here, right? Who are endangering the world most neons are bound by the Asimov code, which says you can't harm humans, etc. And they are not, so that's why they have to kill them. But they begin to kind of question their mission as things go wrong. Now, this was directed by Motonobu Hori and written by Yuaka Izabuchi and, and uh, Toshizo Nomoto. <laughs> I am butchering these names. This one is definitely recommended. Pretty cool, kind of confusing as cyberpunks can be, but uh, there is a lot of action. Uh, Rouge has this battle form where she's got this red armor on. She looks very scary, and that is fun. They're just finishing up the 2024 anime season for winter, and so you can find them on Crunchyroll and other places online. So this has been my short form anime review. Please comment, please like and subscribe, please look at my books, and from the Steambug Tesserado channel, adios amigos.